Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I'm pretty sure that by the time this video goes up, um, Ramadan would have started. So I just wanted to wish you guys an amazing Ramadan. I pray that this month brings you a lot of joy, happiness, and blessings to you and your families. Um, and hopefully we can take advantage of this beautiful month and do the best that we can to be better people and more spiritually connected, which is something that I definitely want to do for this Ramadan, inshallah. So I know that you you guys always ask us to do Ramadan inspired content and I haven't really done that in the past just because I'm not really sure why but I've never really planned any Ramadan content but this year I made sure to really ask you guys on Instagram and get your suggestions on what types of videos you want to see this Ramadan and a lot of you guys said more frequent vlogs of like what we do throughout the day how we spend our Ramadan um, what we eat for iftar um, Ramadan decor which we're doing today Day, uh, Ramadan goals, all that kind of stuff. So today's video is going to be a Ramadan decor video to start off the month inshallah and I will also include some Ramadan essentials that I think everyone should have. Last year I didn't decorate the house um, simply because we had just moved in and it was the beginning of COVID and stores and life and everything was closed like life was closed and growing up my parents didn't really decorate for Ramadan so I never got to experience that and I really wanted to start that as a tradition in my home um, so that's why I am definitely doing it this Ramadan I wanted to decorate my fireplace which is usually where I end up decorating the most because it's the center of our living room and it's pretty blank like I have it decorated but nothing crazy so there's definitely room for decoration there um, so we are going to decorate the fireplace today together and then I will show you guys some Ramadan essentials and we'll end off the vlog so hopefully you guys enjoy this video let me know what you guys think in the comments down below and if you have any additional Ramadan content ideas that you um, would like to see on our channel let us know in the comments down below as well so let's get started okay so I guess I will show you guys what I picked up for the Ramadan decor um, I had a hard time finding Ramadan decorations. I don't know if this is a Canadian thing or just an everyone thing, but I just found it really difficult to find them in stores, of course. And then online, I wasn't really happy with the selection, but I still managed to find a really few good items that I'm gonna share with you guys today. Um, first off, I found these candle holders, which are just typical candle holders. I really like the gold detail at the top. Um, and these are from H&M Home. I was very surprised. Uh, they have an amazing collection. And I got a chance to go there when the lockdown um, was lifted on the malls um, right before they actually closed back up again so I grabbed a longer one and I also grabbed a shorter one so two of each that way I can put them on either side of the fireplace and then I also grabbed some short candlesticks to put in these candle holders and I grabbed four and of course you guys see the Eid sign here um this is for of course when Eid comes inshallah I got this from the same brand that I'm about to share with you guys uh for the Ramadan Mubarak sign and it is called also Sophia I will put their socials and all the info in the description box below so don't worry I will tag and link everything that is still available um that way you guys have access to it and you guys can decorate um, as well so they were nice enough to send me um, two of their signs the Ramadan and the Mubarak sign in the rose gold color um, they are really big they're as big as these boxes right here so I think they would work perfectly on top of the fireplace and then I also found this cute little lantern lights I found them at Party City which is like a local kind of party supply store and I thought it was the cutest Thing ever because lanterns are so Ramadan inspired and look how cute this is oh my goodness <laughs> It is the cutest thing ever. So I figured I would put this on the fireplace, like, like right underneath. I was also sent to this crescent moon um, coin bank from also Sophia. And this is actually like a little piggy bank kind of thing so that you can collect money and give it to charity during Ramadan, which I find to be such an amazing idea. Not only is it decor, but it also has an amazing um, function. So I'm really excited about this. I'm probably going to put this not on the fireplace, 
place but somewhere in my living room. Okay, so Dawood decided to join me on today's vlog. He's gonna help me out with all the decorations that we're about to do. Assalamu <laughs> alaikum everybody. Ramadan Mubarak is gonna be a nice beautiful month. It's gonna feel long but it's gonna feel great at the same time. Inshallah. Inshallah. So the decor that you saw um, in the clip before this was the only thing that I was able to grab before we went into another lockdown in Ontario. <sighs> It's honestly hectic here and we keep going in and out of lockdown. But this lockdown is different. Yeah, this lockdown means that you can't even like, go, like let's say you go to Walmart, you can't, you can't access the sections that they don't consider essential. So you can only get food and like essential items. Yes. So like anything that has to do with decoration or like gifts or anything like that, they're not considered essential. So you're not allowed to buy those items right so of course i had to scramble before this whole thing happened and try to grab as much as i can and try to order online but it can be a little limiting and the decor is just not like the market's just not that big anyways so that is what i was able to grab before we went into a lockdown so hopefully it's enough to make the room I think feel it'll come out cute. yeah more festive just a little more in the spirit of ramadan so i'm so excited I, we've never really decorated I know. for ramadan so this is like our first time yeah last year we were legit we moved in ramadan happened it was full covid mm -hmm. and full like not knowing what's going on so this year is different yeah um this year we're looking forward for ramadan alhamdulillah and yeah yeah i'm excited to um kind of start a new tradition in our household kind of decorating yeah, is, and bringing the spirits this is you know? cute like i've never done that in my house me either like, I, my, my parents, parents never did that yeah. either yeah so Ooh, cute. Woo. <laughs> like, we, we get to raise our kids in a way where like in a this different is, way yeah. this is how ramadan's a big deal mm. especially because we live in the west this is so different so, it's really important to make your house and home and family yeah. life feel like the things that are important which is ramadan like ramadan is one of the most important months for us yeah. right so you know what like people in our area like decorate their house on the outside yeah. of ramadan they, they, we should have done that i've seen fairy lights in yeah. in our neighborhood and I, at first we were like wait someone didn't remove their christmas lights and yeah. then we're like we're in almost in may like it's yeah, definitely yeah. not christmas lights so but yeah you notice it said mashallah yeah and ramadan i love Mubarak. that and like I heard kids singing outside like Ramadan music. Really? Yeah, they were singing like Ramadan. Wow, our neighborhood's popping with yeah. the Ramadan vibes. <laughs> okay, before we get started on the decorating, I wanted to share with you guys a product that we've been using for the past two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks, I think. It's been two weeks. We've been testing it out. They are the native deodorants. I've seen these deodorants at Walmart yeah. every single time I go. And I've always been interested in trying it out, but I just didn't know if it actually was a good deodorant because they are paraben and aluminum free and they are a clean deodorant and we all know that most of the time when they say clean deodorants it basically means it doesn't work <laughs> like yeah, you're just had, gonna stink <laughs> i've had deodorants where like they are free paraben free and clean and they say yeah and i would put it on and like my armpits get super sweaty or yeah. like it just it just oil when i actually tried these out i was blown away by how good they work and the true test is the wood stinky <laughs> armpits <laughs> <laughs> like there is no other scientific test that is more accurate than Dawood's stinky armpits you guys because his armpits are atomic bombs and he doesn't even have to do anything for that to happen <laughs> you know what i have no deodorant on right now so here you go oh no <laughs> native reached out to us and sent us three of their deodorants and we picked out the coconut vanilla which is amazing it just smells like tropical heaven and they also sent us this collaboration between the lifestyle brand jungalo and native and they released a scent called sandalwood and fig which is so yes. nice that's I think this one's using. your favorite, right? Yeah, that's what I've been using. And then the final one they sent us is also another one from their collaboration with Jungalo, and it is Palm Leaf and Bergamot, which is my favorite. Wait, this hold one, up. Yeah, it's your favorite? Yeah. I've been putting that on. We've been sharing the same deodorant. No, <laughs> it's mine. <laughs> this one's mine. Wait, is that okay to share the same deodorant? Is that like sharing a toothbrush? I don't know. Is it? Well, I mean, I'm married to you, so... Yeah. But don't touch my deodorant. Okay. I don't <laughs> use your toothbrush, that's all. Jasmine and Dawood approve. <laughs> so Native actually hooked us up with a discount code for you guys. And these deodorants, if you buy three, is normally $36. 
but if you use our discount code, it is $24, which is amazing because you are saving 33%. I think we're gonna do a wear test today because the Woods armpits are gnarly right now. So we're gonna have him put Thank on you. the sandalwood and fig. Sandalwood and fig. And then by the end of the video, we'll do like a little smell test and see if it actually works or not. I feel bad for the deodorant because his armpits stink. <laughs> Alrighty, so this is what we have so far. I think it looks really, really cute. We ended up putting the signs, the Ramadan Mubarak sign, and then the two candles on each side. And we also added the lanterns on the bottom of the ledge right underneath the sign. And I think it looks so cute, but that one is a little bit lower. Oh, right this one? Yeah. Okay, there you go, yeah. OCD. <laughs> But I think it's so cute. It's so cute. I think it turned out really, really cute. Yeah. And it definitely goes with our decoration, which I really like. Yeah, in our house. And it's funny because the lights match the same color as the rose gold oh sign. Oh my god, it does. So it looks super cute. Yeah. Too bad everything's closed. We could have done so much more. I know. Yeah. We wanted to add so many more different things like around the house. It. Yeah, like yeah. larger lanterns with lights and all that kind of stuff. But like decorate the table. Go over it. Go over it. <laughs> That's cute. Put it, put the put yeah on a more of an angle, other angle. Like this angle? Yeah, yeah. No, I think this angle looks better. Okay, happy wife, happy life. <laughs> wow, cute background. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, you sound like Mickey Mouse when you do that. I know, right? When someone commented on one of her videos when she did that dressy on the side thing, she sounded. Hi, identical. would you like a dressing on the side? <laughs> Sounds exactly like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> Maybe I should just be like Mickey Mouse as a career because yeah. I'm pretty sure that guy's getting old or something. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to chat with you guys a little bit about what our Ramadan goals are. Now, I'm not going to go into a full list of goals right now, but I still wanted to kind of share one goal that I have and then Dawood can share one goal that he has. You personally me? Yeah, sure. Okay. Um, just so we can hold each other accountable and that way you guys can motivate us to reach that goal and inshallah And maybe do. you guys can get motivated from us. Yes, and then hopefully that kind of inspires you to set a goal because we all do these like new year resolutions but I think Ramadan is like the most amazing time to set a really good goal for yourself. It could be anything, it doesn't even have to be Ramadan related but I just think it's a really nice time to work on yourself and you know better yourself in any way that you can. So my goal for this Ramadan and it's been my goal like I, I'm embarrassed to say this but it's been my goal for the past few Ramadans as well but I just never achieved it because just life happens and it's very difficult and it is to finish the Quran what? I've been wanting to finish the Quran for so many years and I've never done that and that's just always been a goal of mine um, and I will get into it a little bit later on when I discuss the essentials with you guys that I have for you for Ramadan but I am really motivated this year to finish the Quran inshallah I'm gonna go on like a set schedule of every single day knowing which part of um, the Quran to read and that way I can finish it in the 30 days that we're fasting. So You could finish the whole Quran in 30 days? Yeah, people finish it all the time. Damn. You just have to read a certain like section of the Quran each day and yeah. then by the end of the 30 days you finish the Quran. Nice. It's actually really easy but it's just that you have to have the motivation to pick up the Quran and read it yeah, true. every single day and sometimes life gets in the way so I'm gonna I'm not gonna allow that to happen. You guys have to hold me accountable. Yeah, I'm holding. I'm a witness too. <laughs> And I live yeah, with you. Yeah, like I need wow, you guys to motivate me. That's a me. big goal, mashallah. <laughs> I hope you get to it. Inshallah, yeah. And um, my turn? Yes, what's your goal? Okay, so my goal this Ramadan, and a lot of you are going to be in the same boat as me, is to lose a lot of weight, a lot of fat, not weight. So this whole last three months, I've been lifting lots of heavy weights, um, bulking up, like more of a lean bulk, 
and now it's time to cut there was one ramadan i got really 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 lean but i got way too skinny that's because i was leaning out all year and then when it came to ramadan i was working i was playing soccer and all that kind of stuff and i lost a lot of weight a lot of muscle weight and everything like that this year i decided to bulk up a, a one month before ramadan and do a lean bulk and eat like a lot of a lot of food and during Ramadan this year, I'm going to cut, I'm going to track everything. I'm going to, I have a set schedule, a set routine. And that routine is, I'm going to show you guys through reels on Instagram. I'm going to try every single day to show you guys what I'm doing. I'm going to eat something very light at a thought of time, like a date, some soup, some salad. And then I'm going to go to the gym, do a full workout, which obviously it's not going to be as intense because we are still during, we're, we're fasting during the day. So it'll be hard. Gonna hit that workout and then come back home, feast, and eat a lot, a lot of protein, like a lot, like 220 grams of protein a day. And that's gonna be hard because it's such a short window to eat. How are you gonna eat 220 grams of protein? I stocked up on protein shakes. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, that's pretty much my goal. So I'm gonna, if you guys uh, follow me on Instagram, I will show you guys my routine through Reels. I'm gonna try to do almost an everyday Ramadan mini vlog type of things on Reels on Instagram. Nice. And that's my one goal i think that's that's a really cool goal because a lot of us focus on spiritual like strengthening and all that kind of stuff but we also forget the physical aspect of, yeah, super of fasting and ramadan you're supposed to take care of your body you're supposed to eat clean you're supposed to be kinder to your body and i think yeah. that would switching over to a more intense like diet and workout plan i think that totally fits into ramadan trying to work on your body and doing the best that you can for the body that allah has given you so yeah. i find that amazing so. it's not easy easy but it is simple yes if you know what i'm trying to say yes it's simple in theory but yeah. it's easy to act yeah, it's like not a, it's not easy to actually yeah, do it. i could talk all i want right now when it comes to ramadan it's going to be very tough because oh, i'm going to yeah. eat anything in front of me and i'm the type of person that when i sit down he doesn't stop i don't stop yeah and the last ramadan was so hard because i wasn't even working out this ramadan though and i was making good food yeah yeah you guys can watch our last year ramadan vlogs she made me fat <laughs> okay so the first ramadan essential is probably the most important one out of all the essentials that i'll be sharing with you guys today and it is the quran of course i got this one from amazon and i really like it for a few reasons that i'm going to share with you guys i will link it down below for anyone that's interested i just found it really hard to find a put on that was not only easier to understand but also like effective in terms of arabic and english and this one has both side by side so that you can read the arabic and reference the english or the other way around which i really really like so i really enjoy the way this one was made and i think a lot of you guys would find it beneficial um, and also the translation is not super hard to understand which is really important to me i obviously want to understand what i'm reading so this one is really great so i'm gonna link it down below for you guys it is available on amazon um, and i believe it was around like 30 dollars canadian but yeah, that is what I will be reading this Ramadan, inshallah. And inshallah, inshallah, I'll be able to finish it. I know that a lot of you guys will be on the same journey as me. So let's uh, kind of motivate each other in the comments down below so that we can accomplish this really amazing goal. I'm just so excited to finally say that I've finished the Quran. That's such a huge goal of mine. And I feel like that's the would probably be the proudest moment ever. So I'm really excited to do that, inshallah. Okay, so this next item is definitely not an essential, but I really think it's super cute and such a fun idea to have, especially if you have kids. Um, and it is this date box from Dip and Date. This company right here called Dip and Date sent it to me. And essentially it's one of those like calendar boxes that every day of Ramadan, you can open up one of these boxes and you'll get a super delicious date that is covered in chocolate. And I am so excited to dig into these. I think that would already ate the first one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he already ate the first one. <laughs> um, but essentially you'll get um, just like different kinds of dates and chocolates in each one so that when you break your fast you can enjoy a nice little dessert something sweet and that way you look forward to each day it also helps you keep track of what day you're on and it makes you look forward to the next day of course so i find this really cute especially if you have kids 
um, they can look forward to opening it up um, every day after iftar and that way you have something to do um, for the kids as well all right so this is another essential in our home during ramadan and of course every day of the year because we use this every single day and it is a padded prayer mat i will include the brand on the screen where we got this prayer mat from but i wanted to show you guys it is super thick and don't mind Flocky's fur, it's literally <laughs> everywhere. I vacuum this so many times a week, but he just loves sitting on this mat for some reason. Um, but it is very, very thick and it's super soft. It's kind of like memory foam. And when you have hardwood floors, it's really important to protect your knees, especially when you're praying. So we love using this prayer mat and it works absolutely amazing and it just makes praying so much more comfortable. All right, so the final item that I wanted to share with you guys as an essential for Ramadan is is this prayer outfit it is a satin prayer outfit and it's a full length like just one piece prayer outfit and it's so so convenient when you just want to grab something to put it on and be fully covered and not have to find a bunch of different pieces to match and be able to pray with so I'm gonna put this on and show you guys what it looks like because I really think it could be something that a lot of you guys would find useful so let's try it on don't mind the crazy room I've been editing and working on content all day today um, but basically this is what the prayer outfit looks like it has sleeves and also the hijab is connected to the full outfit so it's a one-piece outfit that you can wear quickly when you want to pray and it is made out of like a silky satin material so it's super lightweight and breathable you don't feel hot or anything especially in the summer so yeah i absolutely love it i love the color i love the fit this is from serenity scarves you can find them on instagram they do have a website as well again everything will be in the description box below so i look super funny but we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it and pretend like i'm just wearing a regular hijab i think um, you look cute thanks i look muslim <laughs> <laughs> Um, extra Muslim. Extra Muslim today. We just wanted to end off the vlog and we wanted to end it off with our final smell test. Oh yeah. Give me your armpit. <laughs> it's finger looking good. Oh. <laughs> <coughs> good, it's oh, good. I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, like seriously. There's no it's not oily, it's not wet. Yeah, wait, let me let me feel it. Oh, it's actually really dry. Yeah. Okay. Really no, it smells. It still smells exactly like how you when you first put it on. So yes. that's good. So if it works on the wood, then it works on everyone. <laughs> so <laughs> make sure to check out Native in the link down below if you guys are interested in checking out their deodorants. And that's it from us. We hope you guys yes. enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram because I'm gonna be posting daily or try to post daily vlogs. Um, on Mini my weight blocks. loss journey, I'll yeah. show you guys my Kedish before, I'll show you guys my Kedish after Ramadan. I can't wait to do that. <laughs> Motivation. Kedish means you guys. like... Kedish means stomach. Uncle it, My Billy. stomach's not, not that big, <laughs> but I did bulk up a little bit. Mm. Because I got gains now. Oh, and everything that you guys saw in today's video will be linked in the description box. So don't worry, just check out the description box and you'll find direct links to all the decor that we used. And that's it from us today. Bunny ears. Boy. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> wow, I, I look... I look fabulous! You're cute! Oh, 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 oh. <laughs>